Welcome. So good to be a part of your life for another week. Today we are going to work on how does understanding music notation make me a better musician. And this is going to be part of that. So keep an eye out and you'll understand in just a moment. First of all, bring your supplies, paper, and something to write with. And here we go. <laughs> There was the song. Let's go out to the ball game. We're going to come back to that in a moment. I'm going to put my baseball mitt and ball to the side and pull up my pencil. All right, I want you to draw a quarter note. See over here? Draw a quarter note just like this. Remember to fill it in because that's what makes it a quarter note. And right to the side, quarter note. How many beats do we hold the quarter note? There you go, one beat. So we're going to put a one underneath the quarter note. Now we also can call it ta. Ta. So to help you with the quiz that's coming up, I want you to draw four quarter notes. One, two, three, four, and put a one underneath each quarter note because we hold it for one beat. One, 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 one. Now we also call it ta, so we all, we're gonna put a ta below there. Ta, 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 oh, there we go, ta. All right, so there's your quarter note. Now go to a new spot on your paper and we're gonna draw the half note right here. How many beats do we hold a half note? two beats. So let's write half note over here and one dash two underneath the half note. One beat and another beat equals two. And we can also say ta ah. Now for the quiz it's going to be a little bit different than one dash two or ta ah. It's going to ask you how many beats per note. So you're going to put two under each note. Two, 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 and two. Okay, you can pause me any time and finish what you're doing and then come back, but we're going to keep on moving. Now we have the dotted half note. Dotted half note. One dash two dash three. Three beats. Or as we say in the ta world, ta a a. Okay? So draw your dotted half notes at the bottom. One, two, three, four. Don't forget that dot. One dash two dash three is what we're doing, three beats. But for the quiz, you're going to just put three. Three beats, because we hold the dotted half note, three beats. Three, 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 three. Or, and also we have the ta ah, ah but that's not going to be on the quiz, but let's put that anyways. Ta, ah, ah. Ta, ah, ah. Ta, ah, ah. And ta, ah, ah. Okay? Now we have the whole note. Whole note. And we hold it for a whole four beats. Very good. Four beats. One dash two dash three dash four. Okay? Or ta ah ah ah. If that makes it easier for you. 
Now don't forget to draw the four whole notes at the bottom because this is what's going to be on the quiz. You're going to see four whole notes and you're going to put the number four underneath it. Four, 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 four. That's what's going to be on the quiz. Let's also add the ta ah 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 to this sheet. Ta ah ah ah. One, two, three, four. There, good. Ta ah ah ah. Ta ah ah ah. Did I do it right? One, two, three, four. And the last one. Ta ah ah ah. There's a lot of ahs. Hey, there's your whole note. Now, there is going to be another one that we're going to be working with the quarter note and it is or did I say note the quarter rest and it is how many beats well if a quarter note is one beat the quarter rest is the same one beat now how do you draw a quarter rest make a Z and woo just like that let's try that again a Z and just like that Z and just like that. See how I'm doing that? They don't have to be perfect. Just have some fun with it. One beat, one beat, one beat, and one beat. Or ta, 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 ta. Now we also have two more rests that we want to talk about today. We have the half rest that sits on the line. And it is two. It's so light, it's sitting up there, it's only two beats. So the half rest, just like the half note, is two beats. Two. So on the quiz, it's two beats. And then with the whole rest, you got it, four beats, whole note, whole rest. It's so heavy, it has four whole beats to it, it hangs from the line. The whole rest. How many beats do we hold it? Four beats. Okay, so remember that for the quiz. And you can come back to the quiz and look at it if you have any questions on the quiz. It should help you out. Okay? Let's go back to the song Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Well, I need my mitt. It's time for that song again. This time we're going to take what we learned about notation here and we're going to use it in the music. So, take me out to the ball game. What just happened? I used a half note for two beats, a quarter note for one beat, and two dotted half notes for three beats. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts or Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I never go back, slow roots back, let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame, for it's one, two, three, dot, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. You just read music because you learned about notation. So the que central question, how does understanding music notation make me a better musician? You can now read the music. Pretty exciting. All right. That's it for today. I'll see you next week. Bye.